Hello, hello, hello. You are listening to the War Room Women of God. Yes. We have a treat for you today. We've had two spectacular shows that you will be hearing on Saturdays. But if you go to Facebook, you can hear us anytime. But you're going to be blessed. Our topic is identity, knowing who Amen. you are and knows who, know who, knowing who you are, knowing That's how good. valuable you are, knowing how much you are loved. We're just here to remind you. Today's topic is, uh, of course, identity, but the show host is Dr. Tiffany herself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yes. this is Jesus and Justice. But also in the studio is Minister Mona. Hello, hello, hello. Of who's <laughs> next. And of course, I am C.C. Moreland. Minister Mona is going to go ahead and pray for us, and then Dr. Tiffany is about to blow you away. <laughs> Let's go. Thank Father, you. in the name of Jesus, Lord, we glorify you and we yes, worship yes, your holy yes. name. We thank you for a platform to encourage, God. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, for every person who will see this, will hear it, God. Let the words in be the planted in their heart. Jesus. They may be able to apply them thank in their you, everyday God. life, God. Thank Father, you, God. we thank you for the God-given identity, identity that you've given us. Mm. Now, Father, we bless you and we glorify your holy name. And it's by now faith we count it done. Amen and amen. 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 Woo. Well, hello to all of you and welcome to Jesus and Justice. Mm. I am your host, Dr. Tiffany M. Lloyd. And let me get straight to it. Mm. Have you ever felt that when you wake up in the morning, you don't have a purpose? Mm. Have you ever felt as if you were just existing and not living? Wow. Have you ever felt like you were the black sheep of the family? Mm. Have you ever felt like every time you try to take two steps ahead, it just seems like something is just taking you two steps, yes. 10 steps back? Yes. Mm. Have you ever felt like, okay, God, when is it my turn? Mm. I see everybody on my boulevard being blessed and it just seems like, God, you are so far away that mm. you have forgotten about me. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself just in the midnight hour just crying and just saying, mm. I don't know if I'm coming or I don't know if I'm going? Yeah. Mm. And then have you ever just felt like, I don't even know who I am. Jesus. I don't even know why God even made me. I just wish that if I just go to sleep at night that something happens that I don't even wake up. Mm. Oh, and God. I want to serve you notice today mm -hmm. that that is all a voice of yes. the enemy. Yes. Jesus, Who are you? Yeah. You mm -hmm. are the head and not the tail, above mm -hmm. and not beneath, the lender and never the borrower in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, here is where some of us don't want to admit this. The reason why a lot of us struggle of knowing who we are yeah. and you struggle in marriages, you struggle in relationships, you struggle in having friendships, you struggle with having relationships with your own family, it's because you have not healed your mm -hmm. inner child. Mm. That's good. The studies show that 60% of all adults have faced some type of trauma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by trauma? Yeah. Trauma doesn't necessarily mean that you've been raped, you've been molested, you've been abandoned. Trauma mm -hmm. can mean you were bullied. Trauma can mean that you were the black sheep of your family. Trauma mm -hmm. can mean that you were poor. Trauma can mean that even if you made the most simple mistake, you walked on eggshells because your mom and daddy just yelled at you and fussed at you. Yeah. Some of you have not healed your inner child. Jesus. And some of you have dealt with childhood trauma that mm. you have not acknowledged. Some of you are walking around mad and you are mad at people that you have not forgiven that did something to you as a child. Mm -hmm. And then some of you have not healed from adult trauma. That man that you put all that faith and trust to. Ouch, I'm guilty of it. Where you have made this relationship or this man or this woman if I'm talking to men out there, your God. Ah, where you man. have put them before yourself. You have put ah. them before God and then when they just dump you and abandon you, what you thought was a little house on the prairie ends up being a nightmare on Am Street. Who mm. am I talking to today? When that dream job, when you got your degrees and then no matter if you got so many degrees, mm. then the job just crashes. You don't have a job mm -hmm. and so you don't know who you are. Some of you, who am I talking to? Your identity is through how many likes you have on oh, social Jesus. media. 
Stop that. I mean, Jesus only had 12 followers. And you mean to tell me you excited because you got 5,000 followers or 50,000 followers on Instagram for people who don't, who won't even say hello wow. to you on the street. Half mm. of them just want to be nosy. Half of them, if you needed your bills paid, they wouldn't even be there. Some of them are just trolling, trying to see whatever they is that they could find out about your business. Oh. Come on, you need to know who you are and whose you are. You have royalty in your DNA yes. because Jesus is the King of Kings, the Lords of Lords, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Some of you, anytime someone says something to you, you're so defensive. Mm. That may be your inner child talking. Mm. Some of you, you can't even last in a relationship three months because you already have it in your mind that that man or that woman is going to cheat on you because you haven't healed from that. Some of you, when you get in a relationship, <laughs> you're so overbearing to that person because you are you're so fearful that that person is going to lose you. That could be your inner child talking when you was abandoned as a child. Yeah. Some of you, you don't even know how to communicate to that man or that woman or whomever without cussing them out and lashing out because that's what you saw as a child and you adopted this pattern that this is normal. Who am I talking to? Some of you overcompensate with your children because your, kid, because your mom and daddy didn't do it for you. Some of you, every time you get in a relationship, you're introducing them to the man or the woman that don't even last two or three months. Jesus. It may be something that you saw when you were little. How? Who am I talking to? Some of you, you want to be married. You want to be in a relationship. You want this. You want that. But you're not ready because you got to heal your inner child. You mm. go around and you have maybe the right intentions, but you go and you bleed on everyone. Some huh. of you, who am I talking to? You've been hurt by one man and one woman and you want to go around and you want to punish every woman that comes your way. Mm. Every man that goes your, uh, comes mm. your way. Some of you, you on social media half naked and you think that because a man likes your pictures and you are degrading yourself with your breast out Ooh. and your butt out because of the fact Ooh. that so, because all you have been worried about is that if a man tells you how fine and pretty and how sexy you are, then you think that you are beautiful. Come on. You should not have that much low self-esteem to where your self-esteem rises because of men telling you how mm. beautiful you are. Those men only want to go to bed with you. Who am I talking to? Mm. You have to know who you, you are, are first. Yes, when you yes. know who you are, you don't just accept anything. That's See, good. I was a woman where I didn't know who I was. All I right. talked a good game. Yeah. I mm -hmm. preached a good game. But my life was in, was a lie of what I was saying. Mm. And so my life was so caught up in people that didn't care about me. Yeah. But because I didn't know who I was, yeah. my my stock, all what, what motivated me was people that loved me and rooted for me on social media. Jeez. Jesus. A man who didn't, who, who said one thing, who said he loved me, but didn't because his actions clearly showed it. And I would just take anything where well, he disrespected me because I wasn't respecting myself. Yes. Jesus. And who you know with your identity in Christ is that you got to know that you are loved, mm -hmm. you are forgiven. Jesus, God thought so much of you that he sent his son to get on the cross to die yeah. just for you. Yeah. That's good. Amen. Woo. Amen. Woo. People of God. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. I hope you have your seatbelt on because if not, it's, it's too late. Just go on the road. Just go on the ride. Mm. Uh, Dr. Tiffany has said so many great things. I started thinking when she was asking who she was speaking to, when she started calling out the things that we um, may or may not have experienced in life. And I started to think about something my mother told me a long time ago. She said, unresolved issues and emotions have babies. Ooh. In other Ooh. words, I had this thing that happened when I was a kid, and uh -huh. since it was never resolved, it just keeps multiplying inside of me. So anytime I cross somebody and they do something that looked like what somebody did from my childhood, now I'm hurt all over again, and I have a new issue, yeah. a new baby yeah. from it. So I want to say to you today, all of these things that Dr. Tiffany called out, let's take a moment and identify those things, because yeah. today is your day of freedom. Yeah. If it was, Melissa, 
molestation, if it was this man or this woman that has mistreated you or made you feel insufficient, disrespected you, and maybe it was because you didn't know who you are, yeah. but today we're going to bring the mirror before you and say, baby, this is who God has made you. Sir, this is who uh, God has made you to be, and yeah. it's your opportunity today, but let's just take a moment and look inside of our own issue and say, this is that childhood issue. Yeah. This is that adult issue. This is that one thing, that two thing, that three, those three or four things that I'm allowing to pile up inside of me mm. that's causing my identity to Come be blurred. Jesus. See, um, mm. when I didn't wear contacts, mm. things look pretty good, okay. right? Okay. But I'm, I'm still driving. I'm still cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm still able to read. I had to squint a little bit, right. but I could still see. Yeah. Um, and when I got my set of contacts, I was like, oh, is that what I see this blemish on my face now? I see this thing and that thing, and I can see clearly. You see clearly. Mm -hmm. um, so what I want to say, people of God, is no longer will we let the hurt of the past blur our vision of who we mm -hmm. are today. Yes. Today we're going to be able to see clearly that God has ordained us for such a time as this, that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. I love what Dr. Tiffany said about being on Instagram and social media because there's some people who will open when they wake up, they Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, they make a post and they, they can't even have a conversation, eat dinner, watch television, read a book, let alone study the Bible without checking. How many likes did I get? Because they're driven by that simply because they have allowed their identity to be lost in everything that they want people to think they are. Mm. But today is mm. your day of reckoning. Today is your day to be free. Today is your day to say, God, I want to be everything that you made me to be. And the first thing we got to do, people of God, is take off somebody else's clothes. Mm. The first thing we need to do is take off somebody else's Hat. Mm. The first thing we need to do is stop trying to walk in other people's shoes. They don't fit anyway. Yeah. Today is your day to walk in who God has made you, yes. your God-given identity. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, the other the, the other night, uh, men and women of God, I was um, at a little gathering with my job. And my boss, just as beautiful as she could be a model, just as gorgeous as she can be. Confidence. I want to talk to you about confidence. Mm. Husband over there. You know, little old short thing, looking at mm. every woman but her. Mm. Every woman but her. And you can see her, her confidence, you know, just, you know, just sucking inside of her confidence. Mm -hmm. So, so I just, uh, I sent her a little text today. I just want you to know that I think you're so beautiful, you know, and just things like that. And I, and I know you're probably going through that. But see, you have to look at who God says that you are. Mm -hmm. When Dr. Tiffany was talking, about 25 of those women was me. You Jesus. know, what she was talking about. But Jesus. Quite a few of them were with me. But then that was when I was just about s surviving. But now mm -hmm. since I have a relationship with Christ, mm -hmm. now that I know who I am, now that I'm walking in my identity, mm -hmm. I'm not surviving. I am conquering. Mm -hmm. Amen. I just mm -hmm. want you to know that I am conquering because God is more than a conqueror. Mm -hmm. He tells me that he loves me every time I read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. anytime I feel, feel a certain kind of way. But then I also... Uh, we have social media and different things like that. If I'm, if I'm needing something, if I'm feeling a certain kind of way, oh, I need more confidence. So I go to YouTube. I need more confidence sermon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, my emotions are down sermon. You know, I just feed, I just con constantly, constantly feed myself. So all of these, these uh, doubts and everything would just, you know, just mm -hmm. fade away. So Amen. you have to feed your faith. You mm -hmm. have to get to Jesus. You have to talk to Jesus. You have to read the Bible. You have to say your affirmations. I am beautiful. I am valuable. God loves me. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what he said. I think on my first, I think I might shock my, my, my host over here when mm -hmm. I was, uh, you know, when I, when I came out and said that somebody told me, don't nobody want your, nobody's going to want your dumb ass. Mm. They literally, he literally told me that. Mm -hmm. I believe that for just a second. Mm. Jesus. I believe that for just a second. Mm -hmm. You know, so when somebody tell you that, and I know you're going through emotional or physical abuse like that, but don't believe that. Mm -mm. You only believe who God says you are. Mm 
That's mm -hmm. who you believe. Mm -hmm. See, hurt people hurt people. Yes. Yes. So if you're not hurting, you don't go around trying to hurt someone else. Yes. Right. See, that person that said that to her mm -hmm. is just a little insecure yes. man. Exactly. See, the scripture that says, when I was a child, I thought I was a child, I understood as a child. Mm -hmm. When I became a man, I put away childish things. Yes. yes. Age doesn't qualify of putting away childish things. You yeah. would think so. Yeah. But there are clearly people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and even beyond, sadly, mm -hmm. that did not rise to the occasion of putting putting away childish, childish things. things. Yeah. Good. And you gotta also remember that trends are temporary. Mm -hmm. You know, every time you look around, there's a new hairstyle, there's a new yeah. dance, and everybody yeah. wants to do it. Right. But rem always remember that the word of God never fades. Mm -hmm. That's where yes. your identity is. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians that if any man be in Christ, he is a, a new, new creature. creature. Old God. things are passed, passed away. away. Mm -hmm. And so you cannot get caught up in your identity and your degrees, your yeah. job, what kind of mm -hmm. car you drive, what kind yeah. of house you live in, yeah. who my man is, what my last name is, what my zip code. Remember, Job in the Bible was an <laughs> upright man. Mm. And the Bible says how Job just wanted to honor the Lord. And remember, I'm paraphrasing it, the devil went to Jesus and said, can I have Job? And he said, you can have him, but you can't kill him. Right. And remember that Job had everything. He was yes. a very wealthy man. Yes. And everything. remember when the devil came and the, his cattle died, his mm servants died and Job still did not curse God, curse God. No. but then the most unthinkable happened to Job yes. a windstorm came and all 10 of his children Jesus. died and what did Job do he did something that blew my mind instead of him cursing God he went to his house he shaved his head and ripped yes. off his clothes Ashes. and he bowed down and started weeping and still praising God because yes. he said naked did I I come out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return. Oh. And so look at Job in the Bible when he yes. lost everything that he had. And then the unthinkable, he got leper, he, he got the disease all over him and his own wife. Mm. told him to curse God Cur and, and die. He told him to get mm. thee behind me. Mm. And he and listen, even though he lost all that he had and he lost his 10 children, God gave him back all of that and more. Job mm -hmm. even, even, uh, even had more than 10 children and he lived to be 140 years old. Mm -hmm. Who am I talking to? Listen, you put your identity in stuff. Mm -hmm. You putting Jesus. your identity in a loft, in a condo. You putting your identity in a gated community. Come on, Jesus. your self is, you, come on, get over that. Your your, your identity is, is in who, this man that you have been with, that you trying to put up with an image and you know that you are miserable is I don't know what. Jesus. Yes. Your, your first identity is who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. Everything else is just an extension behind you. Yeah, your yeah. identity is who you are in Christ and being around a community of Bible believers who believe in God, who believe mm -hmm. in the Lord and Savior Jesus. Because it takes more than just being equally yoked in a marriage. You need to be equally yoked with your friendships and people yes. around you. Yes. You need to be mindful of who's praying for you than who's praying on you. Some oh, of yeah. you, you're so drained. You got Got so much dead weight on you you're stressed all the time you're unhappy mm. all the time every time your phone rings somebody is calling you about mess what somebody said about you those are not your people mm, your Jesus. people are supposed to build you up and sometimes when you want to find out your identity who you are you got to go off away by yourself yes some people can't take this road with you yeah, some I people that you've you. been in a, having friendships with for over 20 years mm. they may not I be going God may not want them to go where he has ordained for you to go yes. sometimes you got to steal away and you got to pray and talk to God by yourself one-on-one -on -one. you don't have to say these fancy big words that you right. don't even know the meaning to you right. talk to God and be yourself he knows your heart yes that's good yes 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 that's yes. good you know what this ain't <laughs> no ordinary worship right here. <laughs> you know that song we have going through we've been through Yes. Again, she went down my lane again. She, you know, she, I, I tell you, this woman of God has been there on my street. I had Amen. the nice car. Amen. You've been to my house. Amen. I had the four-bedroom house. I yes. had the coin a lot. Yes. I, had, I was driving the cat. I was driving the cat. Miserable. You know what? But the thing is, for years I was blaming that man, but I cannot blame that man. I blame mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. God did not put me with that man. Mm -hmm. I did that. So I'm not going to badmouth him or anything. 
I was miserable. And so here's the thing now. Since it's God and I, since I've been on this divine isolation with just God and I, mm -hmm. being circumcised, being pruned, things been cut away from me, I have a relationship with Christ now that is just like none other. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I have my own job. I yes. have my own nice car. Yes. I have my own nice place. Mm -hmm. But it's God and I. God gave it to me. I didn't have to lower my standards to be with this man, you know? Because like, wow, this is such a nice house. Don't be a fool. Don't yeah. leave this. There's four bedrooms. Go into the other bedroom. How do you know? That did not work. Mm -hmm. So you do not have to be miserable. Mm -hmm. Get to Jesus. Just, you know, I, I, and, and I can just keep saying it over and over. I promise you, I was so miserable. I was so unhappy. And God was inside of me, you know, because... Uh, uh, once God is inside of you, that spirit is, mm -hmm. is uh, working inside of you. I am in Christ. Christ is in me. I am in Christ. Christ is in me. So I was just miserable. And then I said this, to live is Christ mm -hmm. and to die is gain. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of walked away. And I said, God, you know, I used to take, change him, change him. But it wasn't until I said, God, change me. Mm -hmm. That's when things start happening <clears throat> in my life. You know, um, we know that the scripture says that, and they were overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Uh -huh. And just for a very transparent moment, you know, I like how you, you share like your life stories. Oh, this is you. I remember a time being in a situation that I was so caught up in thinking that I was walking in my identity because my identity was attached to the situation right. that that I began to become invisible. Mm. And I had been I did it so long that I it was a routine of walking in this identity that had been painted by man. Yeah. To the extent that one day I I woke up and I looked at the wall and I began to speak to myself because I know that I'm a colorful person, not just because I have melanin, but my personality is colorful, my skills and my gifts, my talents, it's all colorful, right? So yeah. I know like if you if you encounter me, you gonna get everything Mona have to offer. I'm mm -hmm. a crack a joke, I'm a little hood, mm -hmm. I'm a be spiritual, all of that comes <laughs> with me. Um, but I was so engrafted in this thing that had me bound that I was becoming invisible mm. to the extent that I, I wasn't being myself. I wasn't saying or speaking up or doing the things that Mona would do. And the Lord spoke to me and said, baby, I ordained you to be everything that you've been doing. Yeah. So why are you walking away from that for this statue of come what on. man has created oh, and on. I had to look at myself y'all and say Mona girl go get your life huh. so I want to tell somebody today stop hiding behind what you think it's supposed to look like mm. and walk in what God has ordained you to be and do it's a greater it's greater on the other side see it's easy to stay oh I need to stay under the security of this mm. but you will never reach your full potential you not. until you walk into the things that God has ordained you to do and be Trust so God. today I say Go get your life. Yeah. Be free Live. and be who God ordained you to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful life. And some of you are looking at videos of celebrities and looking mm. at yeah. magazines, mm. looking on, on television of, I want to look like that person. Yeah. Yes. Or I want to be like that person when I grow up. Yeah. Or that is my idol. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Nobody should be your idol but oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you should <laughs> not want to be like anybody else. When God made you, he made a great work. Mm -hmm. You are fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. Yes, God. I have the same story as these two women mm -hmm. that I was in a relationship, but I allowed society to put this timeline on my life oh, of Jesus. when I should uh, be in a relationship, when I should be married. Mm -hmm. And I knew that this was not what God called me to be. And let me tell you, when I got out of that situation, I found myself 
I said, okay, I'm going to heal from this. I'm not going to be with anybody. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, uh, two years later, I started dating somebody. Mm -hmm. And because the person was in ministry, mm -hmm. and because, and you got to understand that just how God knows what you want, Satan knows yep. what you want. Yep. And Satan has a way of looking pretty. But remember, Jacob was a trickster, okay? Yeah, That's a yeah. whole nother story. <laughs> yeah. But because of the fact that this person was a preacher, come on, I'm going to be transparent, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 it, it's no secrets over here here because yeah. when you healed and delivered you can speak so freely of it yeah and the thing about it was because of the fact that he was a preacher and Jesus. a pastor Jesus. and I, I was being called a bitch almost every other day oh and I started believing that that was what my name was oh. because oh, my identity was found through him a person ah. who obviously did not respect me who was saying one thing who, who 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 had a lot of word in him but wasn't applying the word to everyday life mm. and so the thing about it was be, I had to dummy myself down uh -huh. to lift this person up mm -hmm. and I couldn't say certain things if I dressed a certain way if I said hello to people oh, that Jesus. person was ready to just go off oh you trying to flirt who am I talking to I'm talking to some woman out there the Holy yeah. Spirit already telling me yeah. and somebody's saying how can she tell her business because the only way you can truly reach somebody is to be transparent that's yeah. why a lot of people have left the church and why a lot of people have lost hope because so many of us have this platform and you want people to think that you got it all together. Uh. Listen, I don't care who you are. We all out here struggling. Yes. Some way, shape, Woo! or form or fashion, we all out here struggling. And it had to take for this person to treat me so low yeah. that I didn't have a choice. Yes. But to humble myself and surrender to God. And that was the best thing that they could have done. Because if they, they had never left me, I probably would have been doing the same stuff over and over and over again. Jesus. And because of the fact that I found myself begging, why won't you talk oh to my. me? Is this something wrong? And then something hit me. This person that you was in your last relationship with was this. The person oh, in this Jesus. relationship is this. The, pe the people that tried to date you are like this. So I realized that the common denominator was me. When you have low self-esteem and when mm. you are desperate a man or a woman can smell it a mile away oh, I didn't Jesus. know who I was and because Satan knew that I didn't know who I was he disguised it of what he knew of what I wanted oh, and so the thing about it is is that you got to know that <laughs> wow. you know that you know oh, who you are oh. and so you no longer impressed because he passed to such and such yes. or that she's an evangelist oh she's in the word because sometimes some of the women and men that's in the church can be the biggest hell raisers. And so you so caught up in titles, oh, but Jesus. they have a deficit in morality and Woo character. Some of you, you have the title, but you're not living. Listen, I am too afraid of God in my life to mistreat someone. Mm. So I want to say it to those brothers and sisters out there. Mm. When you go around preying on people and hurting people, always remember that you're going to reap what you sow. Yeah. Ain't none of us exempt from this stuff. So because of the fact that I kept attracting the same type of man the root of it the core was it was me because I didn't know who I was Jesus. and God had to take me to a low place to show me he ain't God he didn't wake you up this morning yes. he didn't start you on your way and so you got to know who you are Good. you don't need man's approval you only need God's approval what does God say what does about God you say Woo. about you that's good 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 listen people of God our time is far spent, but this is your moment to be free. Yes. When I came out of my situation, y'all, I, I thought, I was like, this don't feel right. I, I thought I, something didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. And then the Lord revealed to me that I had been bound so long, I didn't know mm -hmm. what freedom felt like. Oh. So I was now free and oh. it didn't feel right. So I want to say to somebody today oh that God. because I got that freedom, now I can give it to you. We so freedom it. I give to you. We got and I it. tell you today, as much as you receive Christ, when you think about the prodigal son, it's equivalent to what we go through. We run after the houses, the cars, the land, and the money. But when we find ourselves with the pigs, with the slobs, when we find ourselves with them, we can now come to ourselves. So I say to somebody today, come to yourself in the name of Jesus in and receive name of Jesus. everything that he has for you because your identity in Christ is the only thing that lasts. Mm -hmm. You are extremely valuable. All right. Your life is priceless. Mm -hmm. You are a holy nation. You are a people of belonging. God loves you. 
God owns you, mm. and He takes care of His people. He takes care of us. Amen. You know, we worship, we're going through, but this right here, this ain't no ordinary worship. The mm -hmm. war room women of God, you know, the first lady, my first lady who just left, mom is in the hospital, but what she's doing? She's still, what is she doing? She's still praising God. She's still Jesus. running her church. She's still running her household. Oh, my yeah. gosh. You know, we are resilient. We're women. We're resilient, so we just have to keep fighting. We just have to, yo. Mm -hmm. We just have to. You have to pick yourself up, get into your Bible, and look at who God says that you are. Mm -hmm. You are so loved. You are so valuable. You are mm -hmm. so beautiful. You are so kind. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you so much for you, what you're doing in everybody's life. We are gates. Yes. We are gates for people to come through us. Mm -hmm. You know, there's somebody's life that we need to touch. There's somebody's life that we need to save. So we are the War Room Women of God. We love you so much. We thank you so much for tuning in. Dr. Tiffany, awesome, amazing show. Bless you. Remember like the prodigal son, even though you may have strayed away and you found yourself in the pig pen and sloppy situations, mm -hmm. you know, who you ah. may have dated slopped, Ooh, your financial uh -huh. is slopped. Uh -huh. But always remember, just like the prodigal son, it's never too late to come back it's home. It's never. Good, good, and good. And with his oh. arms wide open, he's saying, come on. Come on. And come back home. Come back home. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for mm, healing our inner thank child. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing mm. any type of trauma that we have faced. Thank Jesus. you, For everyone that is listening under the sound of Jesus. my voice, let thank them find you, their true identity yes, in you. In we you, have God. faith and yeah, hope thank and know you. Thank you, God. that this prayer is answered. In the name it of Jesus. It is in Jesus. your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.